Hello, 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 all you wonderful people, and welcome to GTA News, the lowest rated news broadcast in the world, with the poorest host you have ever seen who can't even afford a real suit. Let's get straight into the news. Firstly, I would like to congratulate a few games for their birthdays. Yes, this past week, many years ago, many GTA games got a birthday, GTA 2. GTA 3, GTA San Andreas, GTA Advance, and GTA Liberty City Stories. The oldest one of course being GTA 2 at 23 years old, holy crap. GTA 3 can now legally drink in the US at 21. GTA San Andreas and GTA Advance can now legally drink pretty much anywhere in the world except the US at 18 years old. And of course LCS, Liberty City Stories, which can drink legally next year when it reaches 18 because it's currently 17 years old. These games are many people's childhoods, millions, millions of people still play all these games to this very day. It just goes to show how amazingly well made this whole franchise is and many of the old games reflect that. These games will never be forgotten. Do you know what should be forgotten though, according to Rockstar? Your security! And of course, the mods for GTA 5. I mean, why, why would you need security? This is all, security is overrated, guys. Do you wanna play your game properly without any issues which you purchased? Of course you don't. What do I mean? Well, GTA 5 got an update and if you mod your GTA 5 game, well, congratulations, you cannot use your mods once again. This is why I stopped modding GTA 5 because at any moment, Rockstar Games could make an update and break everything you have if you don't back up your stuff and if you update accidentally, which happens all the time, well poof, all your mods, all your hard work is gone and you have to wait several weeks sometimes for mods to update and some mods don't even update ever, forever to be forgotten. And this happens all the time even if you don't play GTA Online and the updates are for GTA Online which also affects single player even though nothing is changed in single player. Or well, this time actually something changed for single player and I understand if you have to update all your mods and if, if there's an update, a huge update to whatnot, it's okay to update it and break all your mods. But it's not a substantial update. All this did I'm not, I'm not even making this up, guys. What the update is, what the update says, it fixed stability and security issues. Security issues. Do you know what it actually did? Well, first of all, lots of people say that they don't see any stability fixes whatsoever. I haven't checked myself, but lots of people say they don't see it. But secondly, they removed 95% of the anti-cheat system. The system which prevents hacker from hacking your game. So what did you say about the security fixes? <laughs> Do we have any security fixes? No, it's the quite opposite of what they said. Yeah, that's right, it's now easier to exploit GTA Online and screw over other people, resulting in less security. And of course, if you don't care about GTA Online, GTA Online does not exist. Well, it actually does exist because it does affect you as well. If you have any mods whatsoever, then goodbye. Even script hook has to wait a few weeks to get updated. So you can't use pretty much any mods right now. You have to downgrade or before you even update, make a few backups if you use mods. Thank you, Rockstar Games. Speaking of this garbage, we have a new car, guys. It's called the BF Weevil Custom. Wahoo! The car is essentially a beetle which has spikes, it's Halloween themed, it has spikes, it has neons, it has a orange color, it's fast apparently, it has a sturdy bumper and you can purchase it at Benny's Garage. On the topic of Halloween, as you guys know, that's next week and if you log in on this 31st, next week, you can get the Sasquatch outfit for absolutely free in GTA Online. Mm, we kinda have an update on a recent drama between two YouTubers, Nikki Toss and Ryu Kevin, which I covered in a previous episode. For over a week, Ryu Kevin fans and Ryu Kevin haters alike have waited for an apology or even just a statement, just 
a smudge of a statement just one sentence addressing the drama. Well, a few days ago, this popped up. What is this? This is an apology video. <laughs> it's not an apology video, it's just a video addressing absolutely nothing of the drama. Just uh, a video which is stretched to 8 minutes for maximum ad revenue which addressed nothing whatsoever. Apparently Kevin doesn't want to address anything and I don't understand why because he's the main fixture of this drama. <laughs> I expect a few words, you know, something, but I guess we're not getting it and that's of course his business, his channel, his, <laughs> his whatever, he can do whatever he wants, but I don't know, at least address your fans, just, just say something, but whatever, <laughs> again, it's his business. What I do here is just I cover the Drama, I don't give a shit, guys. I, I don't care about drama. I don't care about who has a beef with uh, who and whatnot. I just talk about it because people tell me to talk about it since this is the GTA news and I have to cover GTA stories and this is in the GTA community, so I had to cover it. Pretty short news broadcast this week. We didn't get a huge announcement like a GTA 6 trailer, a teaser, or something, anything. Now we just got some crappy stories from GTA Online, how Rockstar hates you and whatnot. Let me remind you guys that you can contribute to this show like these two, three wonderful people did in Discord. Go to Discord and join this specific channel. Just plop a few news articles in there so I can cover them. Just bring my attention to them and I'll give you full credit if you do. While you're actually on Discord, you can also make some fan art for me. Like this wonderful person did, Galaxy Star. Look at this thing, it's one of my favorite fan arts of myself ever. And actually, let me do something. Oh, what happened? Is there a difference? No, there's no difference whatsoever. This is exactly me, dude. This is perfect. I love this fan art. If you guys have drawing abilities, even if you suck at drawing, go ahead, draw me something and I'll feature it at the end in the ending credits. I showcase a few fan arts like this amazing one. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the contributors for this week. Thank you, YouTube, the internet and Rockstar. Thank you for existing so I can have somebody to laugh at every single time you do something stupid. But anyway, thanks so much for watching once again. This week's video is sponsored by Rain Test, Epic LF, Monish Pradeep, Case Knights, Shin Tay, SMRJ, Pari Bruce Lane, Max Rich, Clint McCurley, Clint Pentacles, Jacob Madley, Karizaki Ori, Max Robinson, Jim Francesco, Marcus Sultanen, Olavi Likanen, and everybody else on the screen.